Welcome to this session on calculation of square root of large numbers. Uh, in this video, we will show you how to calculate square roots of large numbers orally. This video is brought to you by Pathfinder Education Services. So if you have a number like 2304, it's a perfect square and you want to calculate the square root of this number 2304 orally. Let us see how to calculate the square root. The first thing is from the rightmost digit count two digits 4 and 0 in this case and place an imaginary vertical line in the way shown. Next to calculate the square root you should be aware of the squares of the first nine numbers that is 1 to 9. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64 and 9 square is 81. Now when you placed this line, it divides the number into two parts. The first two digits are 23 and the last two digits are 0, 04. So if 0, 04 has to be the unit digit of the square, the square root, the unit digit of the square root can either be 2 because 2 square gives us 4 or it can be 8 because 8 square gives us 64. So we can confidently say that if there is a square root for this number, the unit digit will either be 2 or 8. And we will see how to choose between the 2 or the 8 slightly later. But for now, let us try to calculate the first part of the square root. You can see that the first part of the perfect square is 23. Now if you notice 23 lies between 4 square that is 16 and 5 square that is 25. So because 23 is just greater than 4 square, I know that the first part of the square root can be written as 4. Now between 2 and 8, I have to choose the second part. So just multiply this first part 4 by the next digit after 4. The next digit is 5. So I multiply 4 by 5 and get 20. Now in my number the first part is 23 and 23 happens to be greater than 20. Because 23 is greater than 20, therefore I will choose the greater of the two possible unit digits. So in this case 8. So we see we have chosen the square root as 48. Now we can say that the square root of 2304 is 48. Let us calculate the square root of another 5 digit number. Let us say the 5 digit number is uh, 12769, 12769. We will follow exactly the same process. Again we will place an imaginary vertical line in between 127 and 69. Why here? Because I take the rightmost digit that is 9 and from here I count 2 digits 9 and 6 and place this vertical line here. Now we can again see this table which lists all the perfect squares from 1 to 9. Now you see here the unit digit is 9. Unit digit will be 9 if and only if the unit digit of the square root is 3 or the unit digit of the square root is 7. So we can say that the unit digit of the square root of 12769 is either 3 or 7. Once again, let us take our attention to the first part of this number. The first part is 127 and you can see that 127 lies between 11 square that is 121 and 12 square that is 144. Because this number is between 11 square and 12 square, the first part of the square root is 11. To find the second part of the square root, I'll need to multiply this 11 by the next number, that is, that is 12. 
So 11 multiplied by 12 is 132. Now we see that our number 127 is less than 132. So 127 is less than 132. And therefore, from these two unit digits, we will choose the smaller of the two unit digits, that is 3. So we can say that the square root of 12769 is 113. So you see how easily we could calculate the square root of perfect squares, even large perfect squares orally. You can simply take random square roots and practice more and more. The more you practice, the faster you can calculate the square roots. So with this, we come to an end of this session. If you like this video, please click subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thank you.